Adrian here and you are watching Bright Beauty 14. So, I am back again. It's me. Hey. <laughs> As you can tell, my voice is kind of weird. I'm sick. I'm home. So I decided to take the opportunity to film a video. So, um, I'm going to be doing a video that is very requested and I don't feel is very necessary, but you guys want it. So here it is. What's on my iPhone 6? Plus, how I edit my Instagram pictures updated three months later. I don't know, I asked you guys if you wanted it, and you do. So here we go. I would just like to just clear the water, clear the minds, clear the suspicions. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to brag. Like I said, you asked for it, I'm delivering it. Fancy, delivered, I'm yours. Anyways. Here it is. Sorry, I've been looking into the viewfinder the whole time. It's probably really annoying to you. Let's do this. Okay, so iPhone 6 in silver and the white. Uh, the case I have on is from Casetify. It's like um, daisies and yeah, it's just clear. I paid about $40 for this case that isn't very protective, doesn't have a front bumper, simple plastic. And it's just got these daisies on it that's pretty much painted sticker on. And it's already starting to wear on the corners. So I really don't think it's that worth the money. But I do think their designs are nice. This is pretty much, this case is like as much as an otter box. Um, when you open on my phone, I just have this like road with palm trees and like a sunset. I thought it was cute. Um, you know, I might change it because it's not very high quality. So I'm not really sure. If you have any lock screens, you can tweet me um, it. So, yeah. Um, when you go in, I'm just going to use the Touch ID, which is super cool. I'm obsessed with it. It's so convenient. Um, my home screen is this, like, the space one from Apple. And it has stars and, like, all that. It's really cool. It's really cool. First three rows are, like, Apple ones. So I have calendar, photos, clock, and then I have Yahoo Weather, which I love. Yahoo Weather is awesome. Um, notes, Safari, FaceTime settings, App Store, iTunes contacts, and mail. And then the bottom three rows are apps that I've downloaded. So I have Twitter, which is at AdrianJSM. I'm going to be taking my Twitter off of private so you guys can check it out. I just think it's easier for you guys to, you know, check out my Twitter now. I don't know why I put it on private really, but you know, here it is. There you go. The next app I have is Instagram. Now I have my public Instagram for YouTube and it's called BrightBeauty14YT and you should really uh, follow it so that, you know, you can keep updated. I have a personal account, but I will not be accepting anyone who I don't know in person or that I've talked to a lot with. Next, I have Snapchat, and Snapchat is awesome. Snapchat's my life. I love it. I breathe it. I, <laughs> I always check out um, YouTuber Snapchat stories, so. And then I have Tumblr, and this is the best thing ever. You know, I think if you got Tumblr, you would not regret it. Tumblr is the best. It's hilarious. It's informative. It's interesting, and it's just so cool. Love Tumblr. Um, my Tumblr name is Indie Dash Bliss with four S's. And then I have YouTube, obviously. Then I have YouTube's Creator Studio, which is to just check your analytics, statistics, and comments. And it's way easier to do this all on mobile. So I really love this app. I know I'm like moving my hair like this a lot. It's just be or like this. It's because you know I don't want to look like I'm bald. <laughs> then I have a daily horoscope and this app is very important to me like I love 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 this app it's just really great um, I'm really into all this horoscope stuff lately because it's just so interesting to me and I'm a Leo so in the morning I will go to Leo and I will read about like what's gonna happen today or what I should do or things that'll be helpful to, for me today or even I'll read it at night and I'll see how much it related to my day and it's pretty interesting like I love it it's very accurate and cool so I really recommend you get this app because it helps you out a lot unless it really just does not relate to you at all whatsoever I, I don't know next app I have is my bell it's the Bell tracking app thing. So if you have, if you're with Bell for your phone, um, you can just check out your usage and everything that's going on with your plan. And then I have Spotify, which is 
an amazing app. I love it. You can listen to a long playlist of music depending on your mood, what kind of day it is, how you're feeling, who you want to listen to. It's a great app. You should get it. You should love it. You should live it. You should breathe it. You should should listen to it. And then I have Yahoo News Digest and this is just to check up on like news and stuff and it has nine um nine thingies like nine uh, news articles so if you read them all then it's like oh you've read nine of nine good for you so I don't really know. <laughs> um, oh yes the bottom dock I have is phone, messages, camera, and music and then the next page so here we go here is my first folder it's called editing with a little camera emoji and oh yeah tell me how you guys feel about the new emojis were you hoping to see like some actual new ones or you know you just satisfied with these has this you know quenched your thirst for the new emojis um the apps i have in this folder i all i use all of them i used to have like five pages of editing apps but i realized i don't even use them so i've minimized to seven so i have moldiv touch blur vsco cam square ready square ready v afterlight and aviary the ones that I use the most are VSEO Cam, Afterlight, and Aviary. So I'll show you how, to, how I edit my pictures. You're actually gonna about to see a picture that I edited and used for my personal account. So there's a little sneak peek. So I'll go into Afterlight first and I'll use, let's say I'll use this picture <clears throat> I took of me when I was going to YouTube FanFest Toronto. So here it is. So it's just this picture. I'm not cropping it. I took it with the square function in the camera. And so I'm going to Filters, Fusion, and I made actually a filter. It's called Anastasia, and um, there it is. It actually does everything for me, and I can pretty much have an overall identical filtered feed on my Instagram. So I'll show you um, what it is. So in it, I have, it's called Anastasia. It's the Russ filter in at the amount of 70 so you have Russ and it can do it to 100 you can dial it down you can do whatever so I brought it to 70 I got brightness to negative 10 so it really depends on the picture some of them I like it to be brighter some darker it really just depends um, so probably gonna make another filter that's the exact same just with like brightness up so so brightness negative 10 saturation at 11 Sharpening at 100. I love it to be sharpened and clear. That's the best. For some reason, I decided to skip two folders. So the folder here I have is games. It's Trivia Crack, Crossy Road, Jelly Jump, Quiz Up, Zig Zag, Piano Tiles, and Time Play. The next folder I have is called Shopping. The folder shopping has Ticketmaster, Cineplex, Square One, and Starbucks. Ticketmaster is for tickets for events and concerts, Cineplex for movies, Square One for the mall, and obviously, Starbucks. Next folder I have is social with the little phone emoji. So I have Vine, which is, um, I'm Adrian, if you want to follow me. Skype, which is private. Facebook, which is private. WhatsApp, which is private, which I don't even use, which I don't know why I have. And AskFM, which you can actually follow and ask me some questions on there. Um, my AskFM is 80 Patati. I can just spell it out right now for you or you can see it on the screen. Um, I just, you know, like, answer questions. And then I have my Apple folder, which is all the things that I don't use at all that comes with Apple, with the phone, I mean, so useless, really. So I have an entertainment folder, and I have the first app, which is Perfect365. It's so funny. You can make you look like you have makeup on. It's hilarious. I actually love that app. Um, I have Netflix, obviously, because Netflix is life. Wattpad, which is, um, I think you all know what this is. It's for, like, fan fictions and stuff like that. Urban Dictionary, which is to know this cool teenage lingo and slang, you know. Um, I use it pretty often, actually. Uh, then Dub Smash, which is hilarious. I need to show you one of my Dub Smash videos. Actually, it's so funny. Like, I love Dub, 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 dub Smash. Next app I have is Translate for, you know, Google Translate. 1Password, which is where you can store all of your passwords and usernames, and it has a master password to get in. Flute Lite, because I was trying to learn how to play my flute again, which I actually did. If you want a fluting video, go ahead and tell me.
And then I have my idol, which is this hilarious, like, Asian app where you can make your character do really weird things and put your face on it and dress weird. I will show you mine actually right now. It's really funny. Anyways, that was what's on my iPhone. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you got any, you know, entertainment or info from this video, then give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below video requests because I am on a video filming spree right now. So go ahead and tell me because I really do want to, um, you know, do a video like this. Uh, not do a video like this, do more videos. So thank you for watching. Giveaway is coming soon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ta-ta! I'm just going to lie here.